Hello and welcome back. In this video, we're going to do a fun example to understand the for loop a bit better. What we're going to do is to get a number from the user and then we print out a rhombus of stars with the height of two times the entered number minus one. For example, if the entered number is three, this rhombus will be printed. So the number of the lines from the top to the line with the most stars is going to be three. And this rhombus will be made. All right, I want you to pause here and try to build this program on your own. I want to get to the solution now. But before we move on to the IDE and code this program, let's take a moment to think about the algorithm this program should follow. For that, let's take a closer look at what we want to print. What we want to print are these stars and these blank spaces. And the number of the lines from the top to the number with most stars is going to be n, what the user entered. The number of the stars from there to the end are n minus 1. Now in the first half, the number of stars increases by 2 each line, and it starts with 1 star. So the number of stars in the i-th line are 2 times i minus 1. And the spaces decrease by 1 each line. And in the nth line, we have no spaces. So the number of spaces in the line i is n minus i. In the second half, the number of stars are exactly as big as the first half, but this time, we want to go backwards. So instead of i in our formula, we have n minus i in the i-th line or n minus x in the x-th line. So we have 2 times n minus x minus 1. And the spaces increase each line. So in the x-th line, we have x spaces. From this analysis, we can write our code directly. For the first half, we just have to say for i in range of 1 to n plus 1, so we have n times, print n minus i times a blank space plus, or concatenated, with 2 times i minus 1 stars. And for the second half, we have for x in range of 1 to n, so we do it n minus 1 times, print x times a blank space, and 2 times n minus x minus 1 times stars. Now let's head over to the IDE and see if it works. Alright, so I'm in PyCharm, and what I want to do is actually, firstly, that I want to input a number from the user. Let's say, let's call it equal to number. We said that number was n in this slide, so let's leave it that way. Let's say n equals the integer of input and we want to say, enter a number, right? And then we need to do the two for loops that, we that we've talked about in this slide, right? First, we want to say, for i in range of 1 and n plus 1. So we want to go n times, right? And what we want to do is that we want to print something. Right, and that's something that we want to print is actually n minus i times spaces, right? So I need to put that in another parentheses, say n minus i times the space, right? And I want to concatenate that with with uh, two times i minus one with those many stars, right? So that's my first four, and my second four, say for x in range, I can also do it with i again, it's no problem, but I like using different variables. Let's say for x in range of one, and n this time, so I'm gonna go n minus one times, right? And what we wanna print is that I wanna print x spaces, right, x times the space, concatenate it with 2 times n minus x, and that all minus 1. Oh, I forgot the star here. With those many stars, all right? And I actually need to put this entire thing in a parentheses. So it recognizes I'm multiplying this, this string 
or this character by that many, right? So let's go ahead and give it a run. That's actually it. It was really, really short, but I guess it should work. Let's give it three, for example. And there you go. There's our rhombus that we wanted to print. Let's do it again. Let's say five this time. Oh, 56 is too big. Let's say five. And you see the rhombus is actually bigger and the number of this lines to here are actually five. So we have one, two, three, four, five, right? And let's run it again. Let's put some bigger here, let's say 50. And as you can see, we have a giant rhombus and the number of the lines from here to the middle, the one with the most lines are actually 50 lines, right? Let's run it again and let's say 25, for example. And there you go, right? We're printing a rhombus with a bigger number. And actually, if we put in one, it just gives us one star, right? So that's, that's not a rhombus, but yeah, that's all you get, right? For two, we have two lines here, and there you go, it works. All right, thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and consider subscribing to the channel for the further videos. And I'll see you in the next video. We're going to talk about the functions in the next video, by the way.